This video is for women of childbearing age with the preface of me saying very clearly, I am not a doctor, I am an herbalist, and this is not medical advice. Just for reference, this is Queen Anne's Lace. This is the Queen Anne's Lace flower, Dacus carata. Some people do confuse this with poison hemlock flower because they are similar, but this is absolutely 100% Dacus carata, Queen Anne's Lace flower. See that little black dot in the center? That is Queen Anne's. These are some dead Queen Anne's Lace flower heads full of Queen Anne's Lace seeds. This is the morning after pill. Queen Anne's Lace seeds will not work as birth control and they will not cause an abortion, okay? What this does is it stops a potential fertilization event. So it stops the sperm from actually implanting into the egg, okay? If you want to work with it this way, you need to keep some on hand and you take a teaspoon eight to 12 hours after the um, unprotected Schmexy event. Uh, then you take another teaspoon eight or so hours after that, and then another teaspoon eight or so hours after that. So totaling less than like maybe 20, 72 hours total, um, like eight to 12 hours every time. And it's best if you do it on an empty stomach. This is a wildflower, a native wildflower. It can be found all over the place. I have tons of it in my yard. I have tons of these. I have a whole uh, bag of it actually right there. Hopefully this doesn't get taken down, but you know, those, they're little tiny seeds. They do have kind of hairy bits on them, so you can grind them up into a powder, add them to applesauce or juice or something like that if you really want to, if it makes it easier. Um, and I will tell you one other neat. These seeds are actually also carminative, which means they stop you from farting if you got uh, bloaty and gassy bits. You, you don't need to take as much of them. Um, it's not like going to cause you to get your period or anything if you take it for farting. It'll just help you stop farting. Queen Anne's Lace seeds have been utilized for hundreds of years in this manner. And I just wanted to impart that information to you guys. Hopefully this gets saved and you remember. And if you are interested in learning more about the medicinal value of foraged plants and foraged foods and learning how to make your own herbal medicine and work with herbs. Hi, I'm Amelia. I'm an herbalist. Please follow me and please, please support my content and my courses. All my courses are online.